Welcome back guys, Cities 7, where after visiting several shrines across the land, we've now returned to find that someone has snuck in to King Kaimel's palace. With that guy being hunted down, we're supposedly not allowed to leave town, however... We just can, so I'm not quite sure about that. But, we continue to talk around the town and find out what's going on. As we look for our next story beat, don't we? I was just made Dragonite right before the incident occurred. Needless to say, this is a rather stressful probationary period. A damn intruder! How could he have escaped out the front gate? It's that foolishness! He leaped right over me and I'm not even that short. I'm really not. Someone's got a complex. Be sure you don't get in our way. Okay, quiet night. Oh god, this guy's here as well. As if he was actually spotted, he was walking the halls of the palace completely unfettered. How could no one notice a man wearing such peculiar clothing? It's unthinkable! Thank you for those cheers, through, for the cooled arms there. Maybe I'll sneak in the palace will steal me some of them treasures. <laughs> like I stand a chance against the Dragon Knights. How many people come to Old Town? Some rumors spread rather slowly here. I hope the king and the princess are okay. The poor people are caring about the royals. And everyone else is like, yeah, can I rob them? What more on sneaking in the palace for nothing? What was the intruder after? He didn't steal anything, right? I could have been an assassin from abroad intent on ending the king's life. Someone dared to break into her, the home of I'll take a sovereign. How lax do they think we are? How weak! Quite a bit, considering no one noticed, so your guard's not really that good, is it? I've been trying to ask this old geezer if you see that man in black, but he can't understand a word I'm saying. Curse my luck. Send to keep an eye on this squalid hellhole. Should we chuck him down the well? I'd bet if I could. Even the Dragon Knights hate this place. It hurts to be looked at like that. The city seems even busier than it was before. People need to relax or they'll just shave years off their lives. Will they now? Uh, what I should say? Have I seen a Finn Tutor? You think we can afford angling tutors here in Old Town, Sonny? I'm just wondering if they'll increase security around Old Town. I hear there's an intruder about! I wonder if they'll bump up security around here now. He seems to have heard enough. The sanctuary is the oldest building in the city. However, for some reason, there is not a single record of this place. It does not seem tritheistic in nature. The Dragon Knights kicked out the Batman, right? That's so cool! But they seem kind of upset. I wonder why. Because they literally just were basically made a mockery of. Dr. Dalion from the Sanctuary gives us his medicine for so cheap it might as well be free. I'm sure his benevolence was exactly what the rich and powerful people didn't like about him. Doesn't seem like anything's gone in an old time. In fact, the intruder's long gone. Do I know you? What are you doing in my house? Are you after my canker ointment? There's nothing in here that you want. Trespassing and looting kids these days. If only I could smash your pots. Are you look for TMI? They went to the market square to sell flowers. I hope they sell a lot today. So they're not here. A man going after a woman like that is only after one thing. He had better watch your ass. Like Commander Fraud or whatever. He's a total asswipe. <laughs> Commander Fraud is quite a good name for calling him. But the asswipe line followed up quite well. Uh, Commander rule has been hitting on tear a lot lately. Well, she is quite a beauty, so it's not like I don't understand. But still, does he have no shame? Meow. You like the vulgar old lady. This is your role model for life now. <laughs> the people at the square have such pretty clothes. I wish I could try them on. But I have to be strong, right? Everyone's having a hard time because they have no money. Technically, that's Becca in the future. <laughs> Tia and Maya are able to make a living selling flowers because they have a lot of loyal customers. Some people don't think too favorably of businesses run by Old Town folk. I just hope no one troubles the girls. I guess you like the vulgar old lady for just shooting from the hip, saying it as she feels. Stating it as it is. Is that correct? Alright, nothing going on in Old Town then. No quests or anything to find. We've already checked out the inn. So as Dogie rolls around. Have you guys heard? Apparently a man clad in black broke in the palace. It's hard to believe. I just hope his majesty is alright. They really care about the rules, don't they? The other day I had a piece of fruit stolen when I wasn't paying attention. But the thief was this tiny floating red thing. What the hell was it? Maybe I was just daydreaming. Maybe I was just confused because it happened so fast. Anyway, want some fruit? You never sell me it though. Well, and even if they increase security, they're only getting in the way if it's during business hours. 
What was that trespass of thinking? Now everyone has to suffer because of him. I thought I saw some suspicious figures out of the corner of my eye, but it was just you guys. It was distracting me of all your aimless wandering. Sorry. Just watching the children play makes me feel peaceful. Such a side makes it seem like things like Iskan fever and the anomalies are just a dream. I hear no one was hurt during the incident at the palace. Even so, it hasn't been long since the war ended. People won't be able to relax for some time. I'm sure they won't. Guy's not on this side this time. All right. Go with the obviously objectively faster looking Adel, just for having a smaller character model. There's still people that judge others based on background and looks. It is utter foolishness. We look and think differently because no two people grow up exactly the same. This is why we can learn from others. Yes, it's still ridiculous. Even now. Hey, a foolish man broke in the palace. It is truly sad news. Let us pray to great Glafios that such a thing never happens again, and that you will further bless Altago. An abundant heart comes from an abundant life. As long as we are steeped in blessings, we won't sin. As long as we're given everything we want, we won't act up. That's what's being said, isn't it? We won't do the bad things unless, you know, if you give us, like, everything. <laughs> okay. Says the guy in that position. Rumor has it that Commander Seas played a major role in protecting the palace. Commander Rolf must be dying right now just thinking about how to catch up to him. I didn't think it was a race protecting the palace. Hello, were you able to find me some seeds? Oh yeah, I did, probably. Which seeds would you like to give? We have Sanimara seed. Sanimara seeds? I think I know those flowers. They're so pretty. Sorry, sorry, I got lost in my thoughts. Um, I can give you 400 gold for them. What do you think? I know where money. You hear that? Thank you so much. I promise to take good care of them. Here. Please let me know if you find any more flower seeds. I'll be waiting. I do wonder if one of these flower seeds that we're giving her is just going to grow a monster. Locking fruit seeds, huh? Pretty high class stuff. So this is what they grow from. Sorry, sorry. I got lost my thoughts. I can give you 400 gold for them as well. We make small bits of cash for our seed trade here. Dealing in illicit seeds. Invasive species. Oh, the flower sisters are here. But with all this commotion, I doubt they'll sell much. Since they're here, maybe I should buy a flower or two. I mean, get some seeds that way, surely. <sighs> Nobody's buying today. Or maybe there just aren't enough people out for me to sell to. It's nice to see you, Dogi. Ah, new adult. Dogi's first. And I don't think we've met. Um. I'm Aisha. Call me Aisha. Uh, okay, it's nice to meet you. Hey, Tia, business is slow today, huh? Hello, what's say we lend a hand? Oh, you don't have to do that. The city has been in quite an uproar all day, but things will be better tomorrow, I'm sure. I haven't seen you around much lately. Have you been off on an adventure? I told Tia that they were Instagram. It was hot, sandy, and smelled like sweaty men the whole time. Kind of gross. You do realize that we told you many, many times not to come, right? <laughs> Sounds like quite the adventure indeed. What's wrong, Tia? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought you must be tired from your trip to Sagram. If you have time, why don't you come to my house? I'll prepare you something cool to drink. Maya, what's wrong? Aren't you happy to see Adol and Dogi? Uh, I remember you. She's going to pull my hair again. I just know she is. Huh? What's wrong? You shouldn't seem like the same mischievous little kid who yanked my pigtails last time we met. Maya, what happened? M Maya! Maya, what's wrong? Maya! Is the illness spreading? <coughs> Maya, hang in there, Maya! Aisha, what's going on? What I was afraid of. She has Iskin fever and it's already advanced pretty far. It's not just the fever and coughs. Her hands and feet have begun hardening like stone. Whoa! At this rate... Uh, isn't there anything we can do to help her? Right, uh, ask about my illness? Yeah, tell us more. It seems to petrify people and not just make them ill. Like, deathly ill. I mean, it's a bit... Never level. Not a doctor, I don't know. 
I just know that in the advanced stage of the Viscan Fever, the patient's extremities begin to petrify. And you've maybe working against it, honestly. Progressing the illness at a faster than normal rate. We need to get her some medicine. It's not that simple. Tia, I heard Maya's sick, is it? Dr. Dalion. How's this spread? No. No. No, this isn't good. Maya has Iskin fever. I can tell just by looking. Oh yeah, you're the doctor around these parts, right? Doc, you gotta hurry and give Maya some medicine. Right, of course. The medicine for Iskin fever. It is true that I know how to mix it, but acquiring the most important ingredient is the issue. Maya, I'm so sorry. You're not familiar with Iskin fever, I take it. There are a few facts you should know then. The medicine used to treat its symptoms requires an ingredient called Scarlet Crystal. This crystal is in short supply and carries an exorbitant price tag, making its acquisition somewhat impossible. We can't get it! Then what happens to Maya? Perhaps impossible is the wrong word. I hear Zanzibar does have some for sale in his shop, but to say it's priced unreasonably would be putting it mildly. I'll offer to go talk to Zanzibar and ask for some Scarlet Crystal. I guess that would be the first step. I don't hold that much hope for success, but the effort is certainly appreciated. Zanzibar's establishment is located in the northeastern part of the central square. Just finding out if he even has any in stock will be fine for now. Alright then, no time to lose. Let's go, Edel. Wait, I'm coming too! Oh, Adol, nothing else seems to be working. I'm supposed to know a lot about medicine, but Maya's still suffering so much. S sorry, I'm not making sense, am I? Maya seems to be in a lot of pain. That's about firm is located in the northeastern part of Central Square. Just confirming if they have any Scarlet Crystals in stock is enough. Good luck. Is it time to rub them up? Hell's your ang angle? Why are you spending so much time here? With sick people, no less. You don't want to be marked by the damned aristocrats and merchants, do you? Oh, yeah. Probably you do. My was carried into a house just a few moments ago. I don't know what's wrong with her, but if Dr. Dalion's on the case, I'm sure she'll be alright. Marks. I would like to know its vector. I would like to know how it spread, how people catch it. I would like to know more about Iskin fever. We know where we're going. Hey, what was all that commotion about earlier? I thought the little flower girl liked the usual energy, but man, that scared me. Hello, girl. There's so many dragon knights today. They're so lively and fun, but what's going on? Right, let's roll our way in. Something the matter? You seem troubled. Is it a bit, is it, if it is about a large order, I suggest you speak directly to our my master. I'm with the number one business in all our time, and about them. I was just wondering what was going on. Oh, there's something the matter. If you're looking for help, you came to the wrong place, Master. Exploits people's weaknesses for his profit. That he does. And now it's time to bargain with him. What do you want? This is no place for kids. Would you actually have something so valuable that deserves the attention of the great Zanzibar? Guess he's our man. I'll ask Zanzibar for a piece of Scarlet Crystal. Oh, you want one, do you? Well, how much are you willing to pay? Just so you know, the item you want is extremely expensive. It'll cost you a house at the least. A house? People have been saying it's pricey, but that's just ridiculous. Can you give us a discount or something? A kid from Old Town is dying. What, Old Town? <laughs> Never mind then, offer withdrawn. I'm not going to waste my goods on some worthless vagabond. What a waste of time. Get out of my shop. What did you just say, you son of a- Someone's gonna be sent through a wall in a minute. Vagabond. Worthless. You think you can get away with talking that way about Maya? You dare lay your dirty hands on me? D Dogi. Don't try and stop me, Adol. I'm gonna cave this bastard's face in. D 
Doki, stop it! I mean, I'd have been fine with it. <laughs> Sorry, Adol. I just couldn't take it. Adol reassured Doki that it was all right. Yeah, you're not the only one who got mad. And, I mean, Zanzibar would never have sold that crystal for any sort of reasonable price anyway. You don't think so? He's trying to squeeze every last coin he can out of all the people who desperately need help. They say he bought up basically the entire Outer Guinean stock of Scarlet Crystal solely to create demand. Oh, he's got a monopoly on it! He's got the entirety of the stock! It's the seller's market. He's run to the core. So that's the scheme. Man, that is rotten. The question is, what do we do about it? We need to figure out some way to get a piece of Scarlet Crystal. Well, it's sure not going to be from him. Maybe we should go back and see if the doc's got any ideas. I mean, there's about a billion real-world parallels we can draw out of this situation in many ways. The price of medicine. Those basically deciding with a dollar mark. Or a pound mark, who gets to live and who dies. Problems in the nowaday world. They're very much being paralleled by the story of the game right now. Maya. I'm so sorry, Maya. Oh, you're back. How did it go? I'll explain that Zanzibar refused to sell them any Scarlet Crystal. Sadly, that's the outcome I expected. It was still affordable only a few days ago. A shameless merchant is just using the people's misfortune for his own gain. Though I suppose Scarlet Crystals are rare to begin with, so it is only natural they'd carry a high price. And demand has never been higher, creating a severe shortage. So the blame can't fall entirely on him. Are there that many people infected with Iskin Fever? Oh yes, it's an illness of unknown origin that's been infecting all of Altargo. We need to get on that. It doesn't matter how old or how healthy you are, you can strike anyone at any time. There are even rumours stating that King Kaimel himself has contracted the illness, though they are unconfirmed. The King? Kind of think of it, he did say he was sick and then he started coughing a lot. Dr. Dalion, is there no other way? If there's anything I can do, anything we can do, we'll do it. I understand and appreciate the sentiment, I really do. But the crystal is as rare as can be. It's found only around Altago City, yet always in such small quantities. I suppose it is possible there may be some left in the old waterway. Old waterway? Yes, under our feet lay an old waterway that spans the entire breadth of the city. People rarely venture within, and conditions may be just right for the formation of crystals. Dr. Dalion, could you watch Maya for a time? There's something I need to do. Tia, where are you going? Don't tell me she's planning to go to the old waterway by herself. She can't. The monsters within are extremely dangerous. She wouldn't stand a chance down there alone. I'll tell Dalion to leave Tia in his charge. Take care of Maya for us till we get back. I promise, I will stay right by her side. The entrance to the old waterway is down the stairs near the item shop. Tio, without a doubt, is headed there. Please keep her out of harm's way. Stairs near the item shop. Got it. Come on, Adol. Time to mosey. I'm coming too. Well, time to get in. So this must open at some point in time as well. Maybe that's our exit exit. What the hell's your angle? Oh, still that bit. I thought it should maybe their dialogue had changed it again again. But not so much. Please let me through. My sister, it's a matter of life and death. What are you babbling about? This is not a suitable place for peasant girls to be frolicking in. You need to go home right now. Please, you have to let me through. What's going on here? But... Well, what are we out here? What's a little flower like you doing in a filthy place like this? 
if you need something, you can just ask me. I'm a gentleman after all. A gentleman. It's fraud! Oh, we need to get to him ASAP. I did buy, like, new gear last time, didn't I? I mean, I've got, like, new weapons awaiting to be made, isn't it? I don't even know anymore! I mean, monetarily, I've spent a lot. Let's just quickly check again. Because, of course, it was last time. We do have weapons that we can buy. Do we already own one? We do not. But it's such a massive increase! I know that we're basically waiting for, like, to learn that skill and all, but... I thought I said I'd buy them to keep them on hand for when I wanted to switch to them. Because that makes sense. I only have enough to buy two. I guess I didn't buy them to avoid the temptation, right? That makes sense too, I guess. got the items now, I just need to learn the Warrelez skill. Which is probably Rising Slash, right? It is indeed. So once we've learned that, switch it up to the much stronger weaponry and go from there. So this is where we're going. Did she get in? Please, I'll go on however many dates with you as you want. Just let me through this one time. So blunt, so unromantic. You make me sound like I'm a bad man. Mind telling me why you're so desperate to get by here? Talk to me. Tell me what's on your mind. Ah, I can't watch this anymore. Sorry, but you're gonna have to talk with me first. You again. You two really are annoying, you know that? What possible good can come from getting in my way again? I'm thinking I can't crush you just because you have that bastard Seus on your side. Okay, that's enough. It's my turn now. Commander, I'd like to have a word with you. Who the hell are you, kid? You better shut your trap if you know what's good for you. Commander Roll, come here now. What? You think you can fool me? Wait. Kind of thing that you do look. I mean, you know that, Father, and that's why. Do we have an understanding? Do whatever you want. We're too busy trying to track down the intruder to concern ourselves with you, Nats, anyway. However, I do believe it'd be best that you not get involved in matters that don't concern you. And the group you're with? Well, let's just say they're not suitable company. Think about your position. That, that's not... <laughs> Come on, we're going. What? But Commander? You heard me. We're going. That goes for you too. Unlock the gate and come with me. And no one else is to get in the way of these people. That is an order. So yes, sir. about. Aisha, what did you say to him? Y you know, this and that and whatnot. Don't worry about it. That's not important right now. The question is, are you okay? I understand how you feel. Believe me, I've had my own run-ins with this and fever. But you can't do this all by yourself. That's too much weight for one set of so shoulders. Yeah, Tia. Especially where that guy's involved. He's a real blocker. Not somebody you should be crossing. I, I know, but I just, I didn't know what else to do. Please, let me go. I beg of you. There's nothing else I can do for her. Tia. Adol, what should we do? You know what's going to happen if we just leave her to her own devices right now. Adol suggested they search the old waterway together. Oh, escort mission, eh? 
What? He's right. You don't have to do this alone. If you're that dead set on going, then at least let us go with you. Are you sure? Truly? Huh. I don't know why you think you even need to ask. The old waterway, like everywhere else, is full of dangerous beasts. Don't lose sight of us, okay? Alright. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Noble, for the 33 months of sir. Thank you very much. As we head in to the old waterway, where well, it looks like bridges need to be lowered. Uh, shall I re-equip my luminous rock? I would probably say yes. I need luminous rocks. What's the actual inventory button again? Don't mind me, I've completely forgot what I'm pressing now. Never mind, I'll do... Wait! I can't figure it out anymore! What's the button? <laughs> there we go! It's X. Let's put it on my luminous rock. Much more like that way. Not very good with my buttons anymore, obviously. Remember, we've got to range him. I should probably use... Halo and use my rising slash and try to level that up a bit. There's more enemies nearby. I thought Halo wouldn't do much very good against these, but yeah, completely fine. I thought we'd have to use Doki with his smashing to beat the crustacean. Rising slashes, please. Dogie's off beating someone up. Ow, how did I just get him just to get hit at the right time, though? Of course I dash him for that moment. They're eating nuts so they can chuck him at us. I'm taking a few hits around the place, that's for sure. Sure if this crab's actually going to do anything to retaliate. We did it, and I didn't even notice losing HP. Probably that. Probably that builds up more SP after all. I sure leveled up. Aisha must take less to level up than everyone else because she leveled up before Adol, who's been in the group the entire time. So that's a thing, as we get the Gavel of Souls. What is Gavel of Souls? Traps monster souls, becomes stronger with each kill. I mean... She sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I guess I should put it on Adel, if anyone. Plus four to all stats currently. How many kills do I have to get as I trap their souls to become more powerful? Do I have to be the one who finishing blows it? And at what rate are we getting more stats? That's the question. Tell me how many souls I've gathered thus far. I don't even know. Or maybe you don't even have to have it equipped to gather said souls. I wish there were some leaves and stuff for me to break here. Just build up some SP. In the meantime, our, our charge here is taking a lot of damage. I guess I've got to realise the fact that essentially she's behind me and that I've got to move her forward and out of range. Because I haven't even realised she was taking damage. Sabrina Incense. How do I keep her safe? I'm 
mean, this might be a good reason to play Aisha right now. And just stay in the back lines. I guess I gotta wait for this guy to kind of get a bit higher at the moment as well. I wonder if I can just walk across the wall. Well, we're going full bow again. Hopefully you're not gonna come in whatever boss room there is with us, thank you very much. Interesting ability we have there. I'm being chased down by... Ow, I took the damage. Crabs can throw stuff at me. Since when do they have this power? Which way am I going? I was about to say, this should be back to there. Oh! She really got hit then. Create a route back round. Now the next question is, how do I heal her? Well, that's HP of the user. So would I have to use a party heal maybe? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to stay as far away as possible. Take the cash money, sure. And are you ever going to learn that ability? I mean, Killer Hornet's got up a little bit. Rising Slash is nearly learned. If I could learn Rising Slash before the boss, that would be pretty handy. Now we can equip a whole new weaponry. Big damage get. Look how well Dogie's doing on his weapon, though. To learn his skill. Kinds of Rush has not been learnt at all. But I'm assuming we have to, like, change weapon after learning a thing. She's, like, basically dead. Will this heal you? Okay, so we have that as our option. Well, one skill's learned, I guess. Do I want to equip Dogi with his better thing? Because we're obviously going in to fight something right now, aren't we? So if I put on the backpack, yes, it does take away that skill. So it cannot be learned if we're not actively using it. But it makes sense if we're going into a fight. I have the cool Wolverine-like blades on. Let's figure out what we're fighting. It's sideways crap! Oh, I don't think we should take this one on with Tira M. I'll ask Tira to stay back. Uh, okay. Don't come out until we tell you. Okay. Before the thing closes. Good. What's that behind you, crab? Oh, the red crystals. Deep Earth Crab Vanessa Luti. Change the music, right? Du -du 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 -du. I think I'll stay far away while everyone else gets in there and fights. I'd say there's going to be something coming out here. Let's get him stunned and use my extra attack. Kind of gone past him a fair bit here. Oh, 
Okay, nice AOE flute. I would be guessing that Doki does extra damage here. I mean, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Doki just does extra damage for just being stronger. But again, Adel hits more. You can look at it that way too. I need to trap your soul. Doge's learnt bash level 2. He only really seems to attack with one of his claws. And his attacks are pretty telegram. I kind of feel sorry for Prepper. Wrong to feel sorry for a boss. I mean, he doesn't even stand a chance of hitting me. <laughs> Poor Cramp. Can we at least give it to Old Town and let them feed themselves on crab sticks for ages? Phew. Man, that was a tough one. Don't know what fight you saw, Dogie. Hey, what's that? Up there, I see something red. Hmm, it's a red crystal of some sort. Excuse me. Oh, Tia. S sorry, I heard a loud noise, so I, I wanted to make sure... Um, uh, Are you all okay? Oh yeah, nothing to it. Went down each in the hollow paper wall. You say it correctly the second time. Thank goodness. Um, hold on a moment. I have some medicine on me. Thanks. We owe you one. <laughs> My eyes! Also, I'm seeing a red crystal over there. Seems like it might be paid it. Are we in luck? More than one. Yes, we are. This is Scarlet Crystal, without question. Thank goodness there was still some left. So we got the Scarlet Crystal. Time several. You're rich now! Think of it that way! Even though it's only a small amount, Maya's still a child, so I think it should be enough. How much crystal to one treatment is there? My goodness! Uh, um... Thank you very much, all of you. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Well, then you'd be thanking us. We should be focused on getting this crystal to Maya right now. He's right. We need to hurry back. Okay. So we still gotta get our way out of here. Oh, we leveled up. Anon's like so close to leveling as well. And in the meantime, we've got enough to get Aisha her next weapon. But we should change the back neck into it's this one, isn't it? It's Kaiser Rush. We should use Dogi for a bit to learn that skill. But it used a load of SP. An absolute ton. We've got our shortcut back at this point, so we don't actually have to fight anything. I not have enough to use Kaiser I have not been able to use it yet, so let's try and find another mob to use it Okay then, Dogi! One hell of an attack you pulled off there! Suddenly he just wumps the hell out of things. But yeah, getting getting the actual skill to have enough SP to use it, to get him to learn it, seems to be somewhat nightmarish. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, Tia! Leave it behind, it's fine. What's the 
I'm even carrying? Phew, civilization at long last. We should head on over to Doc Dalliance. Wait. Huh? Why? The Dragon Knight who was guarding this place. We're done here, so we should call him back. Alright, it'd be real bad if anyone mistakenly wanted in here. Why don't you go on ahead? We'll take care of things here. But... Go on. Mine needs that medicine ASAP. Alright. Thank you very much. You're done here, then. Good. Hurry up and clear out. Civilians aren't supposed to be in there to begin with, but orders are orders, whether I like them or not. Sorry for the trouble. We'll go now, I promise. Okay, that takes care of that. Now let's go see Maya. Where in places are you anyway? And how did you get Commander Roll to let you in? No one recognizes Aisha. She's a hidden princess then. I'm breaking out of the palace. Inconceivable. Such a dangerous world we live in. What are the dragon knights doing? I don't know, crotchety old woman. Maybe you can tell me more. But we're here to buy your next weapon, the Sinti Bow. Well, we won't equip it yet. We had enough cash, so it seems like then's the time, right? I believe I just saw a little girl being carried in. Is she okay? Perhaps I should fetch a doctor. Oh, Dr. Dalian is already treating her. In that case, there's no need for concern. She'll be just fine. Sure. Maybe I'll sneak in the- Why are you say also, why are you saying that right next to a guard? <laughs> just talk mumbling it out loud, is he? Oh, it's yes. Huh? Hey, long time no see! Adol Kristen. I see. So you're the one that's been helping Tyr all this time. And you are? I, I, I... Uh... What's a Dragon Knight doing here? Good question. Uh, actually, you know Tyr and Maya? Ah, I must not have mentioned it to you. I come from Old Town originally. I've known them for a very long time. I guess you could say we're childhood friends. I had no idea. I was just stopping to see them during my rounds, but I was unprepared for what awaited me this time. See, Maya lost her parents in the war and stumbled her way into town. Tia found her here and took her in, and they've been like sisters ever since. I see, so they're not related after all. She lost her parents in the war. Is that why she can't talk? From the trauma? Perhaps. Who's to say? Maya took to Tia quite quickly though, and they're practically inseparable now. They are closer than even blood siblings would be, I believe. So I can't overstate enough just what Tia must be going through right now as well. Oh, you're back! And Sius is with you. Never mind me. The medicine's ready, no? Maya needs to take it right away. R right. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness, Maya. Well, what do you know? Looks like it works. I was so worried. What's with the long face? Oh, it's nothing. May I speak with you all for a moment, though? First and foremost, I would like to express my sincere gratitude. Thank you for saving Maya's life. I understand why His Majesty holds you in such high esteem. Eh, yeah, don't look at me. I was just along for the ride, basically. Adol's the man with the plan. Besides, we couldn't head over to Kylos because of the blockade. Which, in the end, I guess worked out pretty well. Good thing we stuck around, really. I see. So that's where the blockade was. 
I'm sure you know this already, but Iskun fever is considered an incurable illness. Even if the attacks are suppressed, the body will continue to weaken over time. This is an inevitability. And Maya is yet a child. Her body can only withstand the illness for so long. How awful. I don't wish to downplay your efforts, of course. I just thought it best to be honest with you. Best to know the truth. Certainly, Tia must also be coming to terms with this reality by now. I believe it would be best to leave those two alone for a while and let them deal with this matter privately. Constantly worrying about them will only serve to remind them of the unfortunate future that awaits. Though I'm certain Maya would appreciate it if you visit from time to time when she's feeling up to it. It would surely lift her spirits. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Excellent. But that brings me to my next order of business. You went around the palace when the intruder was spotted and Sigrun's been worried sick about you. I would never have imagined that you were off gallivanting around with our visiting adventurers. So tell me, Princess, what is the meaning of this exactly? Sears, couldn't you have just pretended you didn't know me? I was doing so well, too. <sighs> Wait, what? Princess? Do you mean she's... Her Royal Highness, Princess of Altago, daughter of King Kaimel. You didn't know. She's usually rather bad at hiding her identity, though. Though she does often try. At any rate, Your Royal Highness, I... I believe it is time you return to the palace. Your excursion must end here. You're going to give Sigrun an ulcer with your antics, and I cannot simply ignore my duties in this matter. But, but, no, I can't do that. See, as you know the situation, all these outbreaks of Iskan fever, and the fact that there's nothing being done about them because of all the strange things happening in Altago. Father doesn't have time to deal with it himself because he's contracted the illness too. What are you saying? I'm saying, I plan to see what's really going on in Altago in Father's place. Then I'll report back here what I find. That's what I need to be doing. Besides, it was only after I left the palace that I realised how little I actually knew about this land. The cultures of the other villages and the types of people who call Altago home. They're all foreign to me. And what kind of princess doesn't know the first thing about her own people? If I'm going to inherit the throne someday, I need to leave this place once in a while. Oh, you've put me in quite a predicament, Princess. Alright, I'll keep quiet about this to His Majesty, but you're going to have to explain everything yourself later on. Y you mean... The intruder is long gone at this point, so there's little reason to maintain the blockades. I'll order them disbanded. Please be careful, and Adol, do take good care of our Princess. Ahem. So you guys ready to hit the road? Carlos awaits! You're gonna pretend like nothing even happened, aren't you? Well, that's fine and all, but are you really sure you want to come with us? This is a time to act, not think. My gut's telling me I need to see what's going on in Altago with my own two eyes. And right now, I trust my gut. You okay with me tagging along, right, Adol? Adol gave an affirmative nod. Great, thanks! Bah, two against one, huh? Well, I guess that means nothing's really changed, and we're all a little richer for the experience. Let's just get on with the adventure. Here, here! It's time for adventure getting on with. Oh, she's asleep. With her eyes wide open. <laughs> Tia's hunched over Maya's bed. Eyes open, but unseeing. She's clearly fallen into a shallow sleep despite herself. Eyes open, though. Does anyone here, I like watching, I sleep with their eyes open or reportedly do? Is that kind of weird? <laughs> she must have been really tired. Oh, it wouldn't be. Maya, Maya, I'm sorry, but the picture here has no eyes open. I guess the translators were like, it's a bit weird their eyes are open on the character model. We shouldn't wake her. Let's get going. I feel like the localizer went and put that line in for that reason. I hate to even think this, but that being here is not going to spread Iskan fever, is it? I'm not very fond of suffering to death, you know. Hey, am I called Iskan fever? The rumor has it that Iskan fever can be prevented. How frightful! Thank you for saving Maya. Tia must be really brave going into a stinky old sewer filled with monsters. I still can't believe she did that. It's been just about three years since Maya came in. Tia took her in. 
That was when the war was at its peak. I'm sure she was orphaned. I thought that something terrible must have happened that made her lose the ability to speak. But those two girls seemed happy. And Maya's feeling better now. That's good. He was gone for a while too, so everyone was worried. I bet they were. Who lives with this cat? Oh, he talked to you, young boy. What's up, Mr. I can't hear? I can't hear what people are saying, but I can tell by what I see, and it seems Maya will be alright. So it's rather rare for people in Old Town to get this shaken up about someone. Everyone must care about them dearly. Why won't the merchants sell the medicine to the people that need it? Maya could have died. I don't get it. <laughs> There's nothing really to get. Greed! Sears told me on his return that Maya's alright for now. The medicine must have worked then. Good. Good for her. If it were not for your help, Maya would have been in grave danger. I cannot thank you enough. It will only get more difficult for Tio as time goes by, but I plan to help her as much as I can. So there's an illness that's ravaging people. They don't know how it's spread. They cannot cure it, only withhold it for a period of time via crystal. They've discovered that much. But is this crystal used for other medicines, or is this just miraculously this crystal here now at the city of Altago? It's all incredibly suspicious, isn't it? Also, why isn't this, like, priority number one? Everyone should be on this, trying to solve this problem. So the girl's doing better, is she? It must be good to be a child, but no one will help me when I'm sick. Sears went back to the city. Despite the rough times and the social stigma, Sears still said goodbye to me before he left. I really believe that Sears cares about Tia and Maya. He truly is a man of virtue. He's a pretty good guy. So Commander Sears is really from Oldham. The rumors are true. He's often seen around these parts, so people have always thought that we never actually thought. Ugh. Dragon Knights. Here! Why, are you sure? There's such gets those two. Oh, well, Maya's feeling better, you say? But it's not over yet. Poor Tia, I can't imagine what she must be going through. Got oh, my extra skill just recharged. Oh, yeah, there was some commotion while it's gone. They set up barricades on all the major roads. This is bad. I'm so far behind schedule. No, Kevin, pull it together. You can do this. Baby steps, man. You can have a quest, then. I was wondering if you wanted to go to some other destination now, really. I can see the waitress belly button. You don't see someone dressed like that too often in my country. A lot of people in Latago dress very lightly. Maybe it's a cultural thing because they live in a hot climate. Well, I'll have you know in Xenoblade, my belly button is on show at all times as well. <laughs> One of the merchants staying here brought her daughter along as well. Mm -hmm. She's such a cutie. She keeps staring at me, so I'm guessing she wants to say something. Why is your belly button exposed? That bastard Zanderbar that runs a business firm in the public square. He's truly a despicable guy. He's disgustingly subservient in front of the rich, but acts all high and mighty around the poor. Do you have any more war to give this guy after going in there? I don't think I've actually brought you any war. No, we're not good for water, sorry. Oh, they're back! Those dragon knights. Where do they go off interrogating an upstanding merchant like myself? What's wrong with your face? <laughs> oh, are you guys on your way out to the plains? You better be careful. The Dragon Knights are giving everyone the third degree about some suspicious man. It's like his mustache is like... <laughs> A cigar? A pipe. Ah, maybe? Yeah, it's pipe. It is pipe. It's not a cigar. It is a pipe. I think it would be very obvious to instantly see it was cigar. A pipe at that angle is a little bit weirder. Ah, oh, what? You were looking for Master Zandabar. He is at the palace. He was summoned by the Prime Minister just a moment ago. Hmm, I believe they are discussing a new policy. What is this policy? I hear Commander Sears visits all time time to time. I don't want any strange rumors going around about one of our commanders. I wish he'd cut back on his visits. Get with the calling of, of calling off of the road blockades. The investigation that passed has been completed. In the end, nothing was found. I can't believe that black clad intruder didn't leave a single trace behind. I mean, he yet left a sight behind. I was about to say Aisha. Wait! You guys don't have any business here, do you? Yeah, we do. Why? Oh, that's right. You snuck out of the palace, didn't you? I bet it'll be bad for you if you get caught. Any noise might give you away. Shh, not so loud. That is not funny. 
Any anyway, I'll be waiting for you guys outside. Come get me later when you're done, okay? We never find it now. She's sure a handful. I guess it's understandable though, considering her position. We'll just have to go in without her at all. Did they up the guard at all? I was trying to see if there were any clues as to where the intruder may have gone, but no such luck. I thought I saw something out in the middle of the fountain, but it was a false alarm. Oh? Yeah, he probably did. What's gonna happen to me? I can't believe there was a break in during my shift. If Commander Steers hadn't been there, I'd never have known that there was an intruder at all. This is not good. I'm gonna get an earful later, I just know it. The General and Commander Sears are engaged in discussion with His Majesty. Please do not interrupt them. Whee! Interruption! Ah, it's you. As you can see, we're quite busy with the intruder incident. If you're concerned about the checkpoint on the way to Kylos, I've already sent word. You may pass without interference. I was looking for the Prime Minister. Hmm, a red eyed adventurer, are you? You've heard that there was an intruder in the palace, no doubt. Perhaps you have an idea of who this intruder could be? Uh, no. No idea at all. Very well then. Correct. No signs of any suspicious traffic at the harbour. It looks like Rom is likely not behind this one. I will hide security within the palace, Your Majesty. Ah, at all. My, po uh, my apologies for all the confusion. A suspicious man broke into the palace in broad daylight not long ago. From the reports thus far, there appears to have been no damage, but it's cause for alarm nonetheless. Especially considering how little time has passed since the signing of the peace treaty with Rom. Prime Minister's not there. I thought they were at the palace doing some kind of policy. I still can't believe the palace grounds were trespassed upon, and the culprit runs free. All hands remain on edge. The Dragon Knight sought the intruder with admirable effort, but ultimately he was not caught. An intruder in the palace? What might have been is too ghastly to consider. Praise be that our charges are safe. Security will on high alert for a while, but I'm sure you can understand the necessity for such precaution. I'm literally walking around the palace. Or at anyone trying to stop me doing anything. I basically just walked in what is most likely the king's room and there's no guard. There could be a snake in the king's bed. No clear look at the criminal's face. No features you can remember at all. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. You may go. There's nothing like a trespass to make the insides of a royal palace absolutely filthy. I made some headway, but there's still more to do than I can fam. It's enough to give me ulcers. Everyone in this world's getting ulcers. Matt, where's that knight that's supposed to be looking for, uh... Aisha, anyway. Where's she gone? And where's the Primero Ministero? There's a medicine to treat his fever in there. Then why don't people just buy it? What, commoners can't afford the medicine? Well, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate the commoners can't buy the medicine they need. Are you going to do anything about it? Is that so? I feel so relieved. I must say, Commander Sears' abilities are amazing, even among the Dragon Knights. Hey, His Majesty was not hurt. I'm so relieved. Apparently, it's because Commander Sears spotted the intruder so quickly. Seems to be a cut above the rest. Wait, why are you there? I didn't see you there before. We have no clues for us to follow. The high alert status in the city was lifted too. Let's just stop our investigation and join the other units. What the? I got him over here! Whoops, false alarm. Please excuse my jury nerves. I thought you were the intruder. I mean, I could be. Makes sense to stop and question me right now, doesn't it? Rounders men claim they were providing reinforcements to the city's perimeter patrol, but I know better. Such numbers help no one. They were out to drink and make merry, I'm certain of it. Is that what they were doing? The way the intruder wielded his poleaxe, he may be the enemy, but I cannot help but admire his skill. If I ever run into him again, I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with him. Just once. Ambitious man. Vicious indeed. I can head into the general's room if no one's stopping me to. The incident was so sudden that no one was able to take the initiative. If he had been found any later, the situation may have been much worse. I mean, you're all assuming he was doing some kind of foul play stuff. Damn Roman rat, where did you run off to? I was thinking I'd catch him and teach him a lesson. Hey, what are you guys doing? Don't come waltzing into someone else's room like you own it. All right. I thought I'd finally get to kick some ass today. Damn Roman Rat, where did you run off to? Well, I fail at finding the Prime Minister at any period of time here. The palace was in uproar because the princess could not be found. Sigrun had reported just before the incident that the princess had snuck out of the palace, but still. 
Cannot find Sigrun anywhere. I wouldn't even realize someone had broken into the palace until Commander Sia spotted him. Why are we so useless about the commander? Well, at least they know. Why did everyone think Sia is the woman? What? Sigrun. Where is she currently? She might be at the Coliseum. She might be at the docks. The old Dragonite just asked me earlier if I'd seen a noble looking girl with honey coloured hair. I had numerous people ask me about the man in black, but a noble honey haired girl? What's the story there? I kind of think of it. You have lighter coloured hair. You seem to fit the Dragonite's description. But, nah, she couldn't have met you. I mean, she's called this girl a princess. Oh man. Why are you like this? There's more here. Crap, it's Sigrun. Um, Sergeant Sigrun, are you still planning to continue with the investigation? We have our orders already. I think we should pull out. I cannot. The princess is my first priority and she has yet to return. What if she's been kidnapped by that intruder? I'm sorry, princess. I should have kept better watch over you. Hey, Aisha, is she your aide or something? She seems really worried about you. No kidding. Sigrun always goes a little nuts about me. But it's too soon to reveal myself. S sorry, Sigrun. I'll explain everything once this is all over. Hey, Aisha. You sure you should just leave her like that? What happens if I go again? Hi. Alright, all right. information first and foremost. Clues, clues. Where could you have gone, princess? Princess, your humble servant will most definitely find you. I just hope you're alright. I can't go back to the palace right now. Sorry, Sigrun. I'll make this up to you some other time. Sorry, Sigrun. I think it would be best for you to return to the palace for now. We've already been ordered to pull out, and I'm sure the general is awaiting our report. If only she was to turn around at that exact moment. The merchant ship got off just fine, it seems. We'll be conducting searches on all ships, both inbound and outbound. I can only hope the merchants understand. Eh. Not about understanding, is it? Maybe the intruder incident caused a big uproar on the city proper too. And since they couldn't catch him, even after all that, the Dragonite's reputation is at an all-time low. She's still here. Of course, I have a man wearing all black not too long ago. This weapon looked awfully strange and threatening. I think that might be the guy everyone's looking for. Right, I haven't talked to everyone in town, but it doesn't seem like there's a quest to pick up just yet, he says. Most of our quests are gather-based ones, after all. This will be, like, one of the few people I haven't gone to, or the house I haven't gone to, which is there. It'll be one of those, won't it? I think it's time for us to head back out of venturing again. If I can figure out where I'm going. Shot them all. Maybe hey, you're failing hitting the body. Good job. 176 now. We're doing better damage, aren't we? I mean, you kind of expect to, considering. So there's going to be a point in time where that Titano doesn't do 4,000 damage to me. Alright, Kylos Village is our destination. Walks up and punches the bird in the face. <laughs> Punch. Yeah. Knock him away from me, guys. I can't get skill power. I think I should.